What's up, my inspiration? Just when the caterpillar thought the world was ending, it became a butterfly. According to an online Boston University article written by Jillian McCoy, depression among adults in the United States tripled in the early 2020 months of the global coronavirus pandemic, jumping from 8.5% before the pandemic to a staggering 27.8%. New research from Boston University School of Public Health reveals that the elevated rate of depression has persisted into 2021 and even worsened, climbing to 32.8% and affecting one in every three American adults. Now let that sink in for a minute. So before we move any further, let's first define depression. In its very basic sense, it is an excessive feeling of hopelessness, helplessness, and worthlessness. Now it's a normal reaction to loss or life's challenges. However, when intense sadness, including the aforementioned feelings lasts for many days to weeks interfering with your ability to function effectively in your everyday life, a personal AAA call needs to be made. You must first acknowledge that the depression exists and make yourself aware of its origins, accept the reality, and then take the necessary actions to manage the depression you may be dealing with in a healthy and productive manner. Now for the purpose of this video, I'm speaking specifically to the early encounter we may have with depression and some helpful ways to manage it. Which brings me to 10 coping statements for depression. 1. Take one step at a time. 2. I am worthy of healing and recovery. 3. Even though I may not feel it now, things will get better. 4. Not all thoughts are true. Depression lies to me. 5. I choose optimism over pessimism and positivity over negativity. 6. My current situation is not my final destination. 7. This is just a chapter in my very long story. 8. I am worthy of happiness. 9. I belong, I am lovable, and I matter no matter what. 10. Finally, it is not a weakness to seek help. Know when to seek help. Now we've said this before and we'll say it again and again, this might be one of the hardest for some people, but very important. Asking for help when life gets overwhelming shows that we are all human, and from time to time may need some assistance, even if it's counseling, and there is nothing wrong with that. Reaching out for help is a sign that you're ready to face your struggles, so that you can live a healthy and prosperous life. Now my inspiration, as a bonus for those who tune in until the end, is three general themes centered around depression. 1. Negative thoughts about ourselves. 2. Negative thoughts about the world. 3. Negative thoughts about the future. So, in closing, let me share with you some words of encouragement. Stay strong. Your story isn't over yet. Now, whenever finding yourself feeling depressed, try utilizing the coping statements mentioned earlier and focus on learning, growing, and evolving in the moment. This is James Alexander, your mental health and wellness coach, a.k.a. your inspirational wordsmith. Helping humanity rise one word at a time. And remember, words are free. It's how you use them that might be costly. Have a phenomenal day. If you or someone you know is considering suicide, please contact the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK-8255 or text HELP to the Crisis Text Line at 741741 or go to suicidepreventionlifeline.org.